In this video, I'm going to explain how to identify trends which go beyond traffic quality. Specifically, how do you improve your sales and conversions and find out the reason why certain traffic which we know is real, which has a low threat score, is not engaging with your website. So first of all, you can parse it out by campaign. And we have campaigns for articles, which is organic SEO. We have visitor generated SEO. I want to start with visitor generated SEO. So let's say that you are getting traffic using this method. And if you want to find out how there's a tutorial on how to use this tool and you feel that the engagement is poor and the reason why it's poor is because it only has one page view. What you can do is you can double click on it and you can specifically see that the traffic was on your website. They only went on one page. They spent 19 seconds and they left. So why did that happen? For visitor generated SEO specifically, those results may not be very appealing visually. So for example, if I double click on this screenshot right now to see what the customer saw, he typed in Metagi RT5. That's what he was looking for. And then when he ended up on the website, and it shows me a screenshot of the homepage, which I don't believe is accurate. So what we can do instead if you feel like this is not a popular search, this is actually a home page that we're seeing here, you can double click on the details, which is here, you double click on this, and you're going to end up with the Google page, which actually redirected the link. So if you click on this, we can actually end up here and see the real page. So they searched for Matagi, right, Matagi RT5, and they ended up on a website which doesn't, right, where's RT5? RT5 is not even here. There's no RT5 here. So you're missing that wheel. So they came here, they browsed, did not find it, and left. Now, what you could potentially do is you can say, okay, if somebody is searching for Matagi RT5, instead of sending them to this specific URL, let's do URL redirect. And you can do that from settings, website settings, it's under 404 redirects. And you can say, when somebody reaches this specific URL, I want to send them into an article instead, which talks about Matagi RT5, or I want to send them to a product page. So you can do that. And then you can see if your engagement was improved. Now let's assume you're not doing visitor generated SEO and you're just doing AdWords. So you have somebody come in. Let's look at issues. So what is an issue? An issue is the triggers that we put together to come up with a conclusion based on our findings. And what I mean by that is when we have an excellent engagement and then we say the product selection is a problem, how do we conclude that? Well, that's because they came from Google, they ended up searching for this category, they had 13 actions here, and they looked through wheels big, and then they said, okay, I can't find anything here. So then they went to the keyword and they searched for the word center caps. Now, obviously they're looking for center caps and you have no center caps, so he left. So we said you have a problem with the product selection. Now, the reason why we said that is because he never reached the product page. So if he doesn't reach the product page and he was searching your website, that means you have a problem with the product selection. And it's very common. So all of this product selection problems, that means that the traffic was real, they had good engagement, they actually spent time on your site, but you have a problem. So here's another example. The guy comes in from Google, he searches, for a 21 inch rim. He then says, you know what, let me just search for my car, searches for his car, spends a lot of time on your site, searching, searching, searching. Then he leaves, he doesn't even click on a product. Why? Because he didn't find the wheel that he was looking for. So again, we're saying you have a problem with product selection. So there's nothing wrong with the traffic. The traffic quality is fine. The problem is you don't have a product that he's looking for. So what do you do because of that? Well, maybe you shouldn't target that kind of customer or you should add something to your website so you can target him. And he was looking for 21 inch rims. That's what he typed in. So he typed in 21 inch rims. He came from Google. He came from your AdWords campaign. He had good engagement, but he didn't buy anything or do anything on your site. Then we have a problem with price. Now, how do we know if you have a problem with price? Well, if you end up on the website, and in this case, this is a lead gen website, so maybe the price isn't a problem because they're filling out a quote. So this might not even be an issue. He spent five minutes here, but he didn't actually click on anything. There was only two actions here. So if you're an e-commerce website, if the customer ends up on your product page and engages with it, so he maybe even engages with the dropdowns, we actually have an engage reason right here. 
and we tell you what the customer did. So when we say that he engaged choices, that means he actually selected things from the dropdown. And usually you have to do that in order to see the price. So if he engaged with the dropdowns or he spent a long time on your website, on the product page specifically, and didn't go to the cart, that means you have a price problem. And if he ended up engaging with your sales copy, so he actually was browsing and looking and reading the sales copy, we tell you that you might have a problem with your sales copy. So we basically tell you that, look, you might have all these problems, which is why your customer didn't check out. And this is where you need to focus beyond traffic quality. These are real people. They were considering on buying your products. And either there was a poor call to action because your price wasn't competitive or you didn't have a coupon. So maybe a coupon would do the job. Maybe creating scarcity on the product page would do the job. If you have no sales copy, obviously the sales copy, you need to improve it. And product selection, again, this is just picking out your target market. So if they never found the product they're looking for, maybe you should stop targeting them or add the product they're looking for. So to recap, what you would do is you would eliminate the fakes and the suspicious threat levels. So we only want to see the real people. And then you would sort by engagement. And you can go through poor first, which in my opinion, if it's poor, you just have to fix the problem why it's poor and either get rid of it altogether because it's you know poor targeted traffic or something is wrong with one of your pages. Good and excellent should really be looked at and the issues should be reviewed. So do you have a problem with your price? Do you have a problem with your products? Or do you have a problem with your sales copy? And as long as you aim to get rid of all the issues that are related to product selection and eventually get rid of all your sales copy issues, then you slowly work on creating your prices to be more competitive with calls to action. So bottom line is we want to completely eliminate all of these issues so there is no issues. So you would have something like this blanks and you have low threat score with good and excellent engagement, I can almost guarantee you that you will have very, very good conversions if you can achieve this result. So your goal is first get rid of the threat so you have low threat score, then get rid of all the poor engagement, and once you're left with good and excellent engagement, focus on product selection, price, and sales copy. To give it to you in order, you probably want to fix your sales copy and price first so you can make some sales and then you can start fixing your product selection problems.